Gamers, we're back. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to use and make a song with vocal presets. Now, as you guys know, I'm the vocal preset god. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, uh, if you guys don't know, I'll be making hella vocal presets and mastering presets and pretty much just anything you would need to uh, you know, shortcut your music to sounding good. <laughs> And every now and then I get a question saying, how do I use this vocal preset? I just bought it. I don't know how to use it. And you know, it's pretty fair. In all my videos, I explain how to do it, but a lot of people don't explain actually how to use them. And that's what I'm here for. Now it's up to you to decide whether or not you wanna, you know, use my presets or not. But if you do, thank you, first of all. But second of all, you probably already know how to use it. It's actually really simple. But I'm gonna be showing you guys everything today from applying the preset, using it live, and making the song. So bada boom, bada bing. <laughs> but yeah, just in case you guys wanna use one of my vocal presets, it's gonna be linked down in the description, logutter.com. Get everything you need fellas <laughs> and for the gamers that are here first i'm gonna be putting a discount code randomly throughout this video that's gonna be a discount code for the first 10 people to see it so uh yeah go crazy once again logarder.com but anyway so first things first we're just gonna look for a beat on youtube let's look up so fago type beat all right so fago is pretty popular right now he's a really fucking amazing artist in my personal opinion and we're just gonna you know find a beat let's see do it like this one this one's pretty good so far Kind of swag. Fun with it. Let's try this one. While I'm looking for beats, I like to just like literally hear myself live with auto tune and the whole preset pretty much playing. So I can just like before I download a beat and do all that shit and put it in the FL, I can just hear whether or not I can even do anything on it right while it's on Chrome. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go over to your mixer. You just click this right up here and then go to track three or really whatever one, but I like to do three because I put the beat on number one the raw vocals on number two, and then the preset on number three. So number three, we're gonna put the vocal preset. So to do that, all you gotta do is right click it, go to file, open mixer track state. So then after that, you're just gonna wanna go to your downloads or you know wherever you downloaded the preset. This one I'm gonna be using my Gunner Impulse preset. It's on my website, logunner.com. Once again, I got tons of vocal presets for whatever type of rapper you're trying to sound like. But this one, we're gonna be using mine. <laughs> you just click on it and boom, first step done. We have the preset locked in and loaded. Very easy, right? Our next step is to hear it live with auto tune. So that's also a very, very easy step. And all you really have to do is go all the way over here to this none icon, click on that skit, and then press in one or whatever your microphone is. Mine says in one. And now we're in auto tune. So we got this cool sound. So we got this cool sound. It's nice. It's pretty nice. swag if you ask me. Swag if you ask me. Swag. So we're just gonna pull up the beat, so pull up and the hopefully, beat do they? Ah, oh, they, they don't show us the key. Us the a key. lot of people do this. Producers, put the key in the beat, or put the key in the, the, key in the description. description. But we're just gonna go by ear, and I'll show you guys how I do that. Uh, pretty much, we're just gonna press play, and we can hear the beat, and we can hear our voice at the same time. So we're gonna open up our auto tune, and just go through all the keys and sing. You know what, you know what, uh, uh, uh. I got hugs on, hugs on, yeah. You don't hurt, you don't want me, yeah. Uh. I got racks on, yeah. Bag on, uh, yeah. Okay, we got the <laughs> we got the right key. We're good to go. So next up, we're just gonna go to YouTube to MP3. We're just copy the link and then paste it in and download it. You know, pretty easy. I feel like we all know how to do that. Now, if you're gonna release this song on all platforms, you gotta make sure to buy the beat. Obviously, you don't want to just you know steal a beat. That's not okay. That's somebody somebody's work. You know, don't steal beats. So we're just gonna drag it in like so, and boom. And then sometimes there's like a little gap right there. I'm just gonna remove that just by holding Alt. And then, you know, then we just drag it there. And then we have to find the BPM of the beat. And now this is actually a really easy process. Uh, we kind of just got to follow wherever the 808s are and then match it up with the major numbers like 9, 13, and 17 and stuff like that. So the BPM is right up here. It's 130 and we just are gonna wanna move that and let's align it right there to 147. If we press this little clock thingy right here, this is pretty much like the, the ticker, you know? It'll let you know if it's on beat, if it sounds good. So we're gonna press play and let's find out. Yeah, it's on beat. Yeah, it's on beat. It, it, we're good. So the next step is just to click on the beat, and we're gonna drag this to track one. So this 
puts it to the track one so it's on its own track separate from everything else next thing we're gonna get our raw vocals in so we're just gonna click on track number two and then do the same thing before go to your none and then click on your in one or whatever your microphone is and then you're gonna hear two it's gonna sound weird but this is really easy to fix you just make sure you're selected on track two and then go down here press this little button right here and boom can't hear it anymore now the last thing you got to do is go to your track number three or wherever you put the preset on and turn off this little red thing that means recording and we want to record on the raw vocals and then push it over to number three and the reason that we do that is so that we can make some changes in the future and yes presets are great hold on i'm gonna turn off the delay presets are great you know they're awesome they're really fucking useful but sometimes you just make some tweaks and changes to them there's nothing wrong with that and that's kind of how they're supposed to be used anyway if you record with the preset, like full on recording on track number three, you won't be able to make any changes. But if you record your raw voice and then put it to number three after, it's just using your normal voice and then applying these effects that are all changeable after. So record with your raw vocals and then change it after. I'm just gonna say some random ass shit. It's not gonna make sense, but yeah. <laughs> so pretty much what I wanna be teaching you guys is punching in. I have a way more in depth video. I'm gonna link it right up there. If you guys wanna go learn how to do this more in depth, then go for it, but I'm gonna teach you a very, very fast and simple way. But anyways, punching in is like a different type of, uh, you know, recording yourself. It's pretty much just saying a bar and then stopping and then recording again, saying another bar, etc. A lot of artists do it nowadays and including my myself it's very very helpful but anyway so we're gonna select track two you know make sure we're on track two make sure this red dot is clicked we're just gonna click this red button and then it's gonna record yeah yeah bitch I'm up I just fly how you go back Okay, so we got our take, okay, so we got our sounded take. pretty good to me, good. but if we play it back, it's gonna be the raw vocals, okay? So once again, this is raw vocals, I can't sing, but here we go. This is the magic of presets, by the way. We're gonna go from this, yeah, yeah, we turn up, it's fly, hey, I go back. To this, by double clicking on it, and then moving the track to number three, or wherever your preset is, and now we have this. Yeah, yeah, we turn up, it's fly, hey, I go back. Okay, so now we're just gonna do the same thing. Make sure we're on track two. Press record. Press record. I don't know why I have my hand up, but. <laughs> so, anyways, we just do the same thing. Just double click on it. Go to the track. Go to number three. And boom. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm back in my normal voice. Bada bing, bada boom. So now we have this great, great, fantastic song. Absolute banger. <laughs> uh, we're gonna listen to the whole thing. Once again, fellas, wasn't really trying. <laughs> I just threw on one of my presets from Logan.com, by the way. <laughs> and just said some jibber jabber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bitch, I'm up. I just fly, hey, I go back. Chop on my yoke, bitch, I just go back. Eating good steak every day. Na, 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 na. Anyways, it sounds good, but we can make it better. Now on my store, I have a bunch of mastering presets and pretty much mastering, if you guys don't know what it is, it pretty much just like gives it that final little boost. You know what I mean? It gives it that last little like, uh, to be a good song. Cause yes, this sounds good, but um, we wanted to give that nice little crispy crunch on there, you know? So once again, these are just on my store, lugano.com. You apply it the same way as a vocal preset. You just right click on your master, go to file, open mixer track state, and then you just click a master. I have tons of masters, as you can see, uh, they all do very different sounds. So depending on the sound you're going for, I got what you need. But this one, we're just gonna use the all around master. It's pretty much a good safe bet for anything that you use. Okay, so my camera died. <laughs> Never was edited in the video, and uh, as you can see, I went on with my day after recording the video and sent all the files to Never. And uh, you know, now we're here. I worked out and everything. No. See? You see this? <laughs> this is you. Oh my <laughs> god. Changed, and now I have to redo a little part. <laughs> but anyways, I was just gonna show you guys the song with and without the master. It's a really simple process, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna turn it on and off. And once again, it's all nogoto.com, so if you guys are interested in any of this shit, bada boom, bada bing. Yeah, yeah, bitch, I'm up, I just fly, hey, I go back. <laughs> Chop on my yoke, bitch, I just go back. Eating good steak every day. Na -na 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 -na.
But anyways, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. I really appreciate the hell out of you guys, especially for the ones that stay this freaking long. If you enjoy this content, I make tons of stuff like this and I do tons of vocal tutorials, mastering tutorials, all that kind of stuff. And I just talk about a lot of music and whatnot. So uh, if you're new, drop a sub. I'd love to see you around more. And uh, yeah, that being said, it's <laughs> for gutter. I'll see ya. <laughs> Thank you so much. Logutter.com, by the way. Uh, hopefully you found that code. Ha <laughs> ha.